Welcome to the heart of Baden-Württemberg, where innovation meets charm, Stuttgart, Germany. Come explore the sixth largest city in Germany with me as we see why this is referred to as the cradle of the automobile. Wander through the charming streets of Old Town and see this place with its Christmas charm and even visit the largest medieval market I have ever seen. Sarah Faye and welcome to my channel. Last week I shared some of the best things to do in Alsace and what to see and eat during the Christmas markets. This week we head to the southwest of Germany by train to explore the city in 24 hours. Good morning. It is another day of adventure and I'm waiting for the train. I have a connection in Strasbourg. So I got here actually earlier than expected. So I booked my tickets through Omeo, but it said on my ticket that I can go on an earlier train. And there's really not much at the station. So I decided I'll take the 707 for 7.32 a.m. train. Have more time to connect and less stress when I get to uh, Strasbourg. But we're heading to Stuttgart today and the French Christmas markets and towns have been lovely in the Alsace region and it's like one of the most beautiful places that I've been to in France. It's very different. It's a very big mix between German and French architecture and influence. It's passed through the hands four times to different, like between France and Germany. But now it's time to go back to Germany and continue the adventure of Christmas in Europe and yeah, I think it's coming so I'm gonna put this away but if you've liked this video then please hit the subscribe button and the like button if it's helped you and please any comments leave them in the comments but for now I need to go Bye. yeah so I couldn't see my train on the board and it ended up getting canceled there was a train strike yesterday which has spilled over into today so I'm hoping that now I have I have today one, two, three, four connections in order to get to Stuttgart when it should have been just two. So that kind of sucks. I kind of wish I took Flix bus at 3.45 a.m. because now I'll be getting there uh, almost four hours later. But we got this. Let's go. Travel happens. Stuff happens. And things don't always go as planned. But we're still going to get there tonight. I was worried this was gonna cut into my 24 hours in Stuttgart, but I found a way to make it worth it with the views on the train. All right guys, update. I made it to Stuttgart, and now I'm in Bonn Konstadt, Stuttgart. And there's a hostel here. I'm staying here for one night, and then I go to Nuremberg for one night. And then I'm going to Munich for two nights. But yeah, I'm moving fast because my mom has a surgery coming up. So I want to be there for her and see some of these markets and some of the things in these cities. So I headed straight to the Mercedes-Benz Museum. Welcome to Stuttgart, Germany. I'm so excited. I'm here for only 24 hours though. So I'm going to show you the best of Stuttgart within a day or less. And I'm going to bring you around from not only the normal sites like the Mercedes-Benz Museum, but I'm gonna bring you to see the Christmas markets as well because that's one of the main reasons I'm here. But I also like to see other things as well. So I'll be showing you some of the other things to do as well as the Christmas markets here. My name is Sarah and I am a solo traveler. If you guys the best tips, things to do in a day or less or longer. But for now, let's go inside and check it out. I believe it's 11 euros to enter the Mercedes-Benz Museum and nine euros to enter the Porsche Museum. However, today we're going inside this one. So we got the ticket, but you have to lock your bags up here and then you can go enjoy it. The lady said it takes about two hours, but I'm going to try to do things in an hour and a half, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so behind me is the oldest goods transporting vehicle ever. And one cool thing about when you come to the Mercedes-Benz Museum is you see the evolution of cars like and from like motorized boats, some of the first motorized boats, motorized bikes, all the way to the first motorized transport vehicle for goods. And it's definitely really interesting after I've been I've been going to a few auto things and I find the history and the societal effects of how vehicles and transportation has evolved over time from industrialization to now is just so fascinating and just seeing how two men really built the Mercedes-Benz car industry as we know it today from this 
in its long history of car manufacturing in Germany. So I think it's pretty interesting to come visit this, especially if you're only here for 24 hours in Stuttgart. One helpful thing is they do give you an audio guide and it's included in the 12 euro entrance fee, which is really nice and it's in a lot of different languages. So you'll always know what you're looking at and get a better idea. And especially if you're short on time, you don't have to read everything. Really cool to see the different documents from the company's formation, as well as some of the oldest vehicles. This is the oldest Mercedes, and it was owned by William K. Vanderbilt, and it was built in 1902. It was 40 horsepower, and this is definitely really a very interesting thing to be able to come see. Also, I think it's only fitting to have a car museum and Mercedes-Benz museum right near the Autobahn. And I don't know if you know this, but the Autobahn is actually, you're allowed to drive as fast as you want on it. There's no speed limit. So put the pedal to the metal and maybe that's why they build some fast cars like Porsche uh, and Mercedes-Benz here because yeah, you can take them for a ride, literally huge fan of cars this is definitely an interesting museum and you'll see some of the finest Mercedes Benz throughout history so Mercedes Benz actually created the first transport vehicles for goods which is definitely important so behind me you'll find the gallery of celebrities and Mercedes-Benz has always been kind of a status symbol but they have a, very, a few very interesting cars and vehicles here. They have the Pope's uh, motorcade vehicle as well as Princess Diana's vehicle here as well right behind me and definitely really interesting and a piece of history definitely. I can't believe they have this here. And like all museums, it must come to an end, and there's a cafe at the end of it, and probably a gift store. But I'm actually getting hungry, so I might grab a snack. And then we're off to continue to explore more of Stuttgart in 24 hours. But now I'm going to head to Esslingen, which has the largest medieval market in Europe, and a Christmas market that is really, really huge for the region. So I'm really excited to go check it out. Now we just need to find out how to get there. The way I got around mostly through Stuttgart was the S-Bahn or U-Bahn. Tickets easily through the Deutsche Bahn app. All right guys, so after a little bit of a hiccup on my ability to get off at the right station, we are in Esslingen, which is literally 18 minutes away from where I'm staying in Stuttgart, but I heard this is the largest medieval and Christmas market in the region of Germany in this region so I'm excited let's go find it and explore and eat because I'm hungry so the Esslingen market is open every single day except they have lim more limited hours than nearby Stuttgart it's open daily from 11 a.m. till 8 30 and Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 9 30 p.m. and yeah this place is definitely more modern when you get off at the train station but I saw pictures of Esslingen and it looks super super cute so I'm excited to see what this has. This is definitely a surprise in my 24 hours in Stuttgart area, but definitely welcome. There's actually so much to do in Stuttgart. Like I wish I could stay longer, but I just have more limited time. Like I wanted to go to the Ludwigsburg Palace and whatnot, but that won't happen this trip, but maybe another time I'll be back. Maybe in warmer weather, the palace would be better too. But there's also a market there as well. So you can't get to them all, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, welcome to the enchanting city of Esslingen. This is really a quick jaunt away from Stuttgart and it is so beautiful. There's also a lot of half-tempered homes here, about 200 and they have one of the largest Christmas markets in the region. So if you want Christmas markets, and not just any Christmas market, but a medieval one, then this is one you're gonna wanna head to. Not only that, if you have some extra time, you could climb up there. There's a hill where you can get a nice view of the town down below, and you could have amazing views like this, and see the Church of Dionysus that has also a steel bridge that walks, you could walk up there? I don't know, I wonder. But we'll go inside that because it says it has a lot of nice gothic art and yeah, it's so beautiful. There's even like a couple taking wedding photos over here. That's how you know it's a good spot. It's just beautiful and it's on the river Necker 
and it's just upstream from Stuttgart. So let's go explore now. I see the Christmas market, which means food. I'm so hungry right now, but first, I think we should try to see if we can go inside the church. It probably closes. A lot of the churches seem to close around 5.45 p.m., at least where it was before in Strasbourg. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the door says 926. So let's go inside. It pointed this direction to come visit, but wow. All right guys, I found my favorite spot in church because I'm standing right above the heater. And that was so cold for a minute. But here you can see some of the gothic artwork behind me. Welcome to Stadkirch, St. Dionysus. This is literally one of the most beautiful churches that I've been to in Germany. It is a high Gothic architecture. You can see behind me the stained glass windows, which are from the 14th century. And when you come inside, you're going to like, it is very, very high, the nave of the church. And it's located in the Marketplatz and is the highest structure in the town center. So you definitely won't miss it. And it also has a really unique feature, which is a footbridge that goes between two towers. And it used to be made out of wood, but now it's out of steel. And that was added in the 17th century. But there's been a church here since the 700s and the 900s. So this was built on top of that. So definitely worth coming inside. Plus it's free from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is cool. It shows you that it's a trip to I squeezed that one in, I headed out to the markets. And just like that, it started to rain, but we're in the market plots and this is just beautiful. I'm trying to find a cup of warm something to keep me warm, but this place is so cute. We made it to <laughs> Esslingen and it is so crazy cool. And beautiful, surrounded by the half timbered houses. You have blue people drinking blue wine, shopping. I don't know what this place is, but it'll look pretty popular as well. All right, guys, one thing I love is that they do have a lot of tables and places that you can sit or stand, I mean, and eat. Ooh, and they have more reclette. This looks like actually the bomb. So I ended up finding this place that was serving the raclette with like some bacon on it on top of bread with some peppers and they had something called drunk drunk food drunk food? I don't know what I'm saying but basically it's great hot grape juice or like similar to Glühwein but with no alcohol and it tastes really really good Mm. So amazing. And now excited for the record. So, bitte schön. Thank you. I just got this massive and beautiful looking reclette and it looks so delicious. Yeah, that was good. Alright, this is good. Mm. I don't really know how I'm going to finish all this. And here we are entering the medieval market. This is so cool. There is like so much happening here. I just saw somebody dress up very medieval like. And what else do we have here? We have some games like bow and arrow games. What? Oh, yeah. 
This is the Glühwein tent, and then they have coffee, and this is the Atlas Rock House. This is so cool. This might be the coolest Christmas market that I've been to. I don't know. <laughs> Behind me is the Atlas Rath House, and this is where the medieval market is in front of, and it's definitely a mixture of Christmas and medieval market, and it is really busy, but honestly, the vibes here are like so freaking awesome. There's all these medieval type of games going on. I saw some people shooting bow and arrows, and there's coffee, so you know what I'm getting. I need to try some of this Quaker Balkan coffee. I don't even know how to say that, but check this out. Huh. I'm trying some soft bacon. I'm definitely saying it wrong, but in, in the most perceived place to be able to try this. So, so good. Good evening. All right, it's already dark outside, but I popped in here to Nali Coffee and Eatery, and they have a lot of food options actually. But I just got a latte because I wanted to escape the cold. But it's right outside of the Atlas Roth House, and it's also right in front of the medieval Christmas market that's going on. So yeah, perfect cup of coffee with the perfect view of the famous square and the famous Atlas Roth House. Just outside of the cafe with some live acts. This is nuts. It seems like they're about to start a live performance over there, but let's continue walking around. There seems to be three market sections here. And then I'm going to be heading back to Duka. And this market also has a few different things. I saw like they have falafel and langosh, which is from Hungary. Here. But yeah, I'm getting pretty full and I think I want to save some space for the Stuttgart market. So we're just going to walk around here and see some stuff. People are all dressed up for this uh, in medieval attire, which is definitely unique compared to any of the other uh, markets that I've been to. I wandered around a bit looking at the different goods they sold at the medieval market. It started to rain, so definitely was trying to rush through this bit to head back to Stuttgart. That was so interesting. The market here is definitely one of a kind and unique compared to any of the other ones I've been to. But I'm going to continue to finish up seeing part of the more traditional Christmas market here and then head back because it's starting to pour rain. Then I'm heading out because it is rainy, rainy, rainy and I don't have an umbrella. And I don't want to get pneumonia. But this has been so cool. This is definitely something that should must be on your list if you're in Sukkot for 24 hours. It's definitely a cute town and such a beautiful place. A short trip later and I was back in Sukkot. Right now we're on Konnenstrasse and it is so beautiful. It's all lit up and this is like this from 4 to 11 p.m. at night and you can just walk down this and it leads you to where we will be seeing some of the Christmas markets. I wish it was not raining, but I do want to see the markets and a little bit of uh, Stuttgart. So let's go and check out what the city has to offer. It is a Saturday night, so the markets are open till 1030. So we have a little more time. All right, guys, this is so cool. The walkway from the Konigstrasse to the main Christmas market is just like lit up with this blanket of lights and even with the water on the ground it just looks like a sparkling alleyway. But we're heading to the main section of the Christmas market which is in front of the market class and then the Roth House which is the town hall. I'm really hoping that it is uh, with the advent calendar on it because I heard that's something that they've done in the past but last year they didn't have but I see the Christmas market and it's right in front of me and the tree. I just got a cool mug. It's so cute. They make new ones in every single city and every single year for the different markets 
and this one is pretty cool because it's like raised and it shows Stuttgart on it and it was the last one so I'm so glad I got it. It costs like three euros deposit but I just decided I asked can I get a clean one and he gave me one so yay. And not only that, one thing I've noticed that's different about the Stuttgart markets is the tops of the stalls actually have like a bunch of cute designs and decor. It was, it's just really cool compared to any other one. And look at the tree, so cool. So let's continue to walk around the market. It's a little bit less crowded today actually because it's raining, but yeah, let's go around and check out what they have. There's definitely a food part of the market, which this is it, and I really like that spatzel with the cheese all over it, but I just had some raclette, so I'm trying to see if I can find something else. So next up, the Rathaus is behind us, and we're heading to the market hall, and there's also another tree over here, and there's more stalls with so many cool decorations. Checking out some of the market stalls, I headed to grab some food. We got with some mustard. So we cut it in half, I guess, because it's so long. It was like this long. But it's really good. Especially when it's cold and rainy out. If you're also looking to go ice skating or a Ferris wheel, they have that as well. And there just keeps to be more and more. It also seems to be a really tall, whatever these windmill type things are. But this is where the party's at, it looks like. All right guys, so it is finished for the night. They closed at 10.30, but this place was super cool. It's like a bar, there's seating area inside. And now I'm just gonna try to go inside. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out. It's already 10.30, but this was definitely a vibe. And now, tomorrow, we'll explore some during the day of Stuttgart and then head to Nuremberg. But yeah, this has definitely been interesting. Too bad it's raining all night, but there were still so many locals out. So it shows you the rain does not stop the people in Stuttgart from checking out the markets, but what a night. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow, this is a vibe. Good morning. After a kind of late night last night, I went back and went to sleep pretty good. And now I started my morning here at Koningshaus. This is the longest shopping pedestrian street in all of Europe. So it's definitely interesting to come walk in at nighttime. They light it all up, which is really nice. Right now it's kind of quiet, <laughs> but I'm going just to walk to the main park and see some of the older buildings that I saw last night in the dark at during the day and just kind of take a walk around Stuttgart with you. This is still within my 24 hours in Stuttgart and yeah, I'm just excited to share with you more of what the city has to offer. I definitely need to find a good cafe because I am tired. Right, guys we're here in Schlossplatz I don't know what's going on because the bells have been just ringing ring but we are surrounded by magnificent buildings and also centered around the Jubilee column in the center also behind the Jubilee column is a three-wing building and that's called the new palace it was built by King the King of Wittenberg in the 18th century and also St. John's Church is surrounding this Schlossplatz which means basically Palace Square. It definitely is beautiful and I really love this working ironwork here. And yeah, we're gonna just go and continue to go around. I didn't realize last night when I was here, the Christmas market is right off of this as well. This is only a few blocks away from the Hoppenhof. So if you are around, you even just like for a short train visit, you could come and just see that this area for a day. So definitely check this out when you're here. Sorry for all the noise, the bells just keep ringing. Like honestly, I feel like for the last 20 minutes.
Alrighty guys, right now I'm in Atlas Schloss and this has been a castle that's been here since the 10th century. And not only that, right now it houses the Museum of Württemberg and traces Swabia's histories from the Stone Age till today. And while I don't have time to go explore it, it's definitely something that I would like to come back to. And if you have a day, it definitely seems like it's worth coming to. If you, history is more of your thing versus the automobiles, I suggest you come here. And also during the Christmas markets, they're doing a little choir show here as well in the courtyard, which is magical because look at this setting here. It's nuts. I think if I only have a short amount of time, I just want to walk around and find and discover new places to come back to. That's one thing. If you have 24 hours only to visit a city and or a region, sometimes it's nice because then you can see what things that are meant to come back for, for you. This museum costs 10 euros 50 cents for adults and 7 euros 50 cents if you are a student. Definitely want to come back to Stuttgart. There's so much to see in the area, including the Ludwigsburg Palace, which looks super beautiful and is the largest Baroque palace of its kind that is well kept. So definitely hope to come back one day, but for now this trip was mainly about the Christmas markets in Germany. Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting on I'm here at Gloria's Cafe and I think the guy over my shoulder is the owner and it is so amazing. I got this like oriental mocha, he called it like a Turkish mocha. Mm. It smells like there's some licorice on top, I don't even know, but it's very natural and very good. Served it with a little biscuit too, which is always perfect. I love when they serve it with something a little sweet and also a little water to wash it down. For now, I'm gonna enjoy this and then head to the train station because we're gonna be heading to Nuremberg. And that was it for the 24 hours in Stuttgart. As you can see, you can go to Schlossplatz. You can visit the Christmas markets in 24 hours. You could visit the castle if you want. But yeah, I ran out of time, but I went to Esslingen, which was a beautiful medieval town and market and easy to get to by the spawn and there's like the sky's the limit basically to each your own everybody has something that they're most interested in whether it be automobiles in Stuttgart or beautiful palaces but for now I'm going to enjoy this and then head off to our next adventure and as always hit the like buttons if this helped you plan your trip to Stuttgart and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and hope you subscribe Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on 24 hours in Nuremberg.